van all up and we are headed up to Mohican State Park. Um, it is raining out, so we are hoping the rain stops before we get there or else it is gonna be a very wet and muddy hike with the pups, but we'll see. We plan on hiking the Hog Hollow Trail, which starts at the covered bridge and ends at the fire tower. So hopefully the trail isn't too muddy and this rain stops before we get there. So we just got to the trailhead parking for the Hog Hollow Trail. It's actually at the covered bridge. So we're gonna check out the covered bridge and then we are going to head out on the trail. We have come to Mohican in the fall where the leaves are absolutely gorgeous. So we definitely recommend checking it out in the fall where you can see the leaves changing. Um, this is our first time coming in the spring. So hopefully it's just as pretty. So change of plans, it's 1130. So we decided to have an early lunch since this trail's gonna take at least two hours. Um, cause I get kind of hangry. She does so. get mad. So I said we're going to eat. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to eat and then we're going to go check out the trail on the covered bridge. We brought a bunch of shredded chicken with us. So we made some chicken wraps for lunch. Then we leashed up the dogs and headed out on our hike. So the Hog Hollow Trail, it follows along this creek off of the main river where the covered bridge is. So it's not been too muddy so far. Since we've had a lot of rain the past couple days, which is good. So, so far so good. Wow. So this whole area was damaged by tornadoes back in 2022. That's crazy. A little bit of a climb up here, but man, look at these views as we get higher. All right, just one more to go. All right, so we made it to the top of the fire watch tower. These things are, I think, are always cool. Uh, they used to be used a lot more to watch out for forest fires and try and minimize the damage for them. Uh, most of these at the top, as you can see behind me, are going to be locked, so you can't actually get into the tower part itself. But once you climb up on top, you can get some excellent views. Here, check these out. We just got the dogs all cleaned up after the hog trail hike. It was very muddy. There was a lot of mosquitoes and we actually found a few ticks on the dogs. So make sure you wear bug spray and check yourself after the hike if you do this trail. And now we are headed to the Pleasant Hill Dam to go check that area out. All right, we're here at the Pleasant Hill Dam on the north side of the state park. Uh, this is kind of cool because it's all earth made. So it was made by the Army Corps of Engineers and it's about 113 feet tall. And then on the other side over here, you have Pleasant Hill Lake, which was formed after it, where you can fish, kayak, all sorts of outdoors activities. So nice little area and even more stuff to do around the state park. After visiting the dam, we relaxed in the van before heading to Lincoln Way Vineyards where we stayed for the night. We got some barbecue from the food truck and enjoyed some wine and live music before cleaning up and going to bed. That felt so good. <laughs>
Val and I are up here hanging out in the front. Here's the truth about van life. For our shower setup, uh, it's not the most private thing. So sometimes when number two occurs, the other person will come sit up here in the front while the other person does their business. So Bella and I are just hanging out here while Jess gets that done. Uh, we're not to the point where we can sit next to each other as one's pooping and be comfortable yet. Truth of van life. All right, don't mind my frizzy hair. It is 92% humidity out this morning. It was supposed to rain and it didn't. So we just got a lot of frizz going on. The vineyard we stayed at last night was great. It was nice and quiet. We were out in a field by ourselves. Definitely recommend staying there if you have harvest host. So we packed up the van this morning. We headed back to Mohican. We're going to do this uh, Gorge Overlook Trail, which is one of the highest rated ones at Mohican. And let's see how it looks. So we're here at the Gorge Overlook. Um, the nice thing about this trail is if you don't feel like hiking or you can't do the hike, you can actually park and it's really right next to the parking lot is a Gorge Overlook. It's actually really beautiful and I can only imagine it in the fall. So don't know if you can tell, but the beginning of this hike is a very steep drop off down. So keep that in mind. Um, it's a little bit slippery and you will have to climb back out later. It's kind of scary. <laughs> On the Gorge Overlook Trail, we're down by the river. Uh, this is really nice to let your dogs run around, and Bella's gone in a few times. The water's nice and cold, to say the least, but on a warm day, I bet it feels really good for her. This is a loop trail, and after talking to someone on the trail, we actually came down the steep side of the loop, and we're doing a gradual incline up, he said it's easier to do the gradual incline down and then climb the steep part up. Um, so I guess depending on how you'd like to hike, you can choose what way you want to do it. I think gradual is like a generous term for this side of the hike because it's still a pretty steep incline on the way up. Just not quite as steep as the other side. After that little steep section, it does kind of flatten out a bit and kind of wind along the gorge. So I can see what they're saying now, but it does still have a steep section on this side. We just finished the gorge overlook hike. Uh, this is probably our favorite one here. It was the highest rated again, and they definitely got it right. Beautiful views up top and down low. Highly recommend you check it out if you come to Mohican. Now we're going to head back to the van and pack up and head home. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please like and subscribe.